Hey what's up guys this is Sky, and in this video I'm going to show you how to install Arch Linux with secure boot support so without wasting any more time let's get started. So first of all we need to boot into our BIOS and turn off secure boot to boot into Arch Linux installation medium and after that you also need to reset the secure boot keys to the factory defaults to avoid any problems later. So now let's proceed with the installation. This is not a full guide for Arch Linux because I have already made that video. You can check it on my channel. So I'm going to be a little fast here. So first of all, I'm going to connect to my Wi-Fi using IWCTL command. So after connecting to Wi-Fi network, I'm going to synchronize the time using the time date CTL command. Now I'm going to make a partition for Arch Linux. So for that, type fdisk-l to see the list of your disk or you can also type lsplk. Now choose the desired drive where you want to install Arch Linux and type cfdisk slash dev slash your device number and after that create your desired partitions I'm going to make one EFI partition and one root partition to install Arch Linux Now I'm going to format the EFI partition as FAT32 and I'm going to format the root partition as EXT4 and after you have done that make sure to mount them. So I'm going to mount my root partition into slash MNT and I'm going to mount the, my EFI partition into slash boot. Now I'm going to install base Arch Linux system using the following command. So this is going to take a while so I'm going, going to fast forward it and if you just came here to enable secure boot then you can skip to the later part of this video. Now once the install 
is complete for base I'm going to generate FS tab using the following command now let's ch root into our newly installed system now after that I'm going to set my time zone using the following command Now I'm going to set my language and locale using the following commands. Now I'm going to set my host name. For this I'm going to set arch and I'm going to configure host file. Now I'm going to set up user so first type pass wd to set up password for root user and after that I'm going to create a new user and I'm also going to give it special permissions and also make it sudo curse. Now I'm going to configure my setup for system deboot.
So now comes the most important part to set up the secure boot with Arch Linux. So for this you need one package called spctl. So you can just install it by typing pacman s spctl. And once it is installed, you can use it by just typing spctl. first of all we need to create keys so to do that type spctl create dash keys and after that we need to enroll those keys so type spctl enroll dash keys dash m dash m is required so that it can keep my microsoft certificates So now we need to sign three files. First of all, the EFI boot itself. So type spctl sign dash s slash boot slash EFI slash boot slash boot x64 dot EFI. After that, we need to sign the system D boot. If you are using grub, then look up the command you see on the screen. So after that, now we need to sign the Linux kernel itself. So type spctl sign dash s slash boot slash vm linux dash linux. And if you are using LTS kernel, you need to type dash LTS as well. Now type spctl verify and it should give you some output. But if it says fail to find EFI system partition, that's okay because we can just ignore that. And after that, type spctl status. As you can see, right now my secure boot is disabled, but we can enable it after rebooting. Now let's enable network manager and Bluetooth service. Now type exit and reboot and let's reboot into the BIOS menu and enable secure boot. So as you can see, we are able to boot into Arch Linux with secure boot on. Now to verify that the secure boot is on and we are booting into secure boot mode, type spctl status. As you can see, the secure boot is on and we are running the Arch Linux. So that's it for the guide to install Arch Linux with secure boot. Now you can continue with the further setup like installing XORG drivers and installing desktop environment. So that's it for the video guys. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.